To achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. People came to this program, government people, university people, contractor people. This source of human intellectual energy was marshaled, focused, challenged. What came out of this effort was not just a very successful program, but a rich national resource of vast proportions. Project Mercury, America's first manned space program, lasted from 1958 to 1963. The Mercury 7, test pilots all, Scott Carpenter, Gordon Cooper, John Glenn, Gus Grissom, Wally Schirra, and Alan Shepard Jr. and Deke Slayton. Their task proved that man could fly into orbit around the Earth and return live and well to talk about it. Gemini, the bridge to Apollo, used a more advanced vehicle carrying two crewmen. Its goals, test the skills and endurance of the astronauts, and practice the rendezvous and docking procedures and other maneuvers for the moon voyage. Good morning, Captain Chirra. Good morning, Chris. You're doing great. Let's put it down on the elevator. Apollo 8 uh, coming to you live from the moon. Apollo 8, history's first manned flight to the vicinity of another celestial body. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good Earth. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Tranquility. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Every precious minute of their two and a half hours on the surface was programmed. Rock and soil samples were to be collected, photographs taken, experiments set up to catch unfiltered particles from the sun, to record moonquakes, to measure precisely by laser beam reflection the exact distance between moon and earth. Okay, we're headed that way. You get the tongs, uh, John? Yep, we are. I carry the rake. Look at the size of that rock. Apollo 17, the last of the Apollo flights. Astronauts landed in the moon's Taurus mountain region. Using the lunar rover, they gathered 243 pounds of lunar samples. They brought back rocks, but as Mike Collins later told a joint session of Congress, it's a fair trade, for just as the Rosetta Stone revealed the language of ancient Egypt, so may these rocks unlock the mystery of the origin of the moon and indeed even of our Earth and solar system. <laughs> Apollo sent a dozen Americans to rove the surface of the moon and 15 others to fly into the grasp of its one-sixth gravity. They took the measure of the moon and in so doing took the measure of themselves and demonstrated the human potential. The facilities of Apollo now silent and still. In Houston, mission control the nerve center of manned flight operations. The chapters of space history, first Mercury, then Gemini, then Apollo, were written by the people who sat at these consoles, people such as Chris Kraft.